video here that was recorded um, in the last couple of days out in Iceland, okay, out, out at the Genesis Mining Farm, okay, and this is the company that um, I've taken a look at, I've taken a position in it, and um, I'm going to see how things go, it's looking pretty good, and I'm going to be using this company just for, mainly just for Ethereum, Litecoin, sort of Dashcoin, and um, Zcash mining, they, they offer lifetime mining packages, I'm keeping my Bitcoin mining packages and mining to Swiss Gold Global, okay, I'm going to be using this company just for the, the Ethereum and um, any other Litecoin that, that comes available. So, very early days. This is one of those things where you get in early, take action, and um, you know get that first mover advantage. Because that's what that's that's where the money is made. If you, the, the people get in early, especially if you're building a team as well. So that's the reason I've taken a position here, and I'm just going to see how things go and. Um, I'm going to check out this event in London next Sunday. So if you're in the London area, let me know. I'll probably be staying up Saturday night ready for the event. It kicks off at Sunday, Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Apparently, there's over 1,200 tickets sold already. So it's looking pretty uh, pretty interesting. I'm just going to run this video anyway, guys. Okay, so sit back while I play this and um, so I can um, take a drink and send some traffic, hopefully. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, this is Amira Tanron. We're here in the sunny Iceland today. We are at one of the mining firms of Genesis Mining. Genesis Mining is the largest cloud mining company of the world. And we are here to meet Dr. Marco Krohn, one of the founders. Let's go. Hi, welcome back. So we're in the mining firm of Genesis Mining, and with us today uh, we have Dr. Marco Krohn. Dr. Marco Krohn holds a PhD in physics. He has also studied mathematics and economics. Um, after several years of working space in financial industry, he came across Bitcoin to quit his job. And I'm very curious to hear, Dr. Mark Krohn, uh, can you tell us your uh, journey in, from Bitcoin to the world of cryptocurrency? Yes, of course. Thanks for the nice introduction. Very kind. Um, yeah, in, indeed, I have a, a PhD in theoretical physics, so which is very much related to mathematics. And uh, after that, I started to work for an investment bank in Germany. And um, yeah, um, it, it's, it's a different world. The investment banking world really is different. And um, I learned quite a lot of things which, which are useful, but a lot of these things are also not so interesting at, at some point in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm also an enthusiast about computers, and I have a computer magazine which I read regularly. And this computer magazine one day had an article about virtual currencies. That was the most boring topic I could imagine at that point in time, and I was hesitating if I should read it. At, at one point in time, I was reading it. And this article talked about uh, this new cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and some anonymous inventor Satoshi Nakamoto and uh, this is all digital and invented by some guy not by a state and you can print your own money with computers and I was reading that and like what the this, this can't be real this really can't be real and I saw like okay this is probably an April school joke because they, they do it you know? and then I, I remember I kind of closed the magazine and I double checked whether it's April but it was July so I couldn't be but I also remember that in the past, of course, all of us, we, we make mistakes and we believe, okay, this can't work. And for me, it was the Wikipedia action. I thought the Wikipedia can't work. And a few months later, I realized, okay, it works perfectly well. And I try to understand why Wikipedia works. And I remember that thought like, okay, um, you, you have been wrong before. And the next day, I started reading again more about this very crazy Bitcoin thing. And uh, yeah, about a couple of days and nights without sleep uh, later, I realized, okay, this is the most, uh, the most crazy and innovative thing since the invention of the internet. So that took me about going from this is completely crap and can't work to this is the best thing I've ever seen, about five days. And from that time on, I started like, okay, how do I get Bitcoin? Yes. And um, how do you get Bitcoin? Yeah. yes, and it was a huge problem that was in a kind of 
in the mid-2012. So in other words, there were not many exchanges. It was really hard. I found the place, how to get some of these Bitcoins and, and bought, started buying some of these Bitcoins. And then a little bit later, like uh, in uh, 2013, mm -hmm. via trading, there was a small community in uh, Munich. Um, I met my partners, Marco Spreng and Jakob Stolic. So together we saw like, okay, what can we do to improve the ecosystem? We had some ideas, but at the end of the day, what what we found was that mining is an interesting thing. Yeah? And uh, at that point in time, it was very profitable to mine Litecoins with uh, graphic cards. That's what we call the GPU, a graphic processing unit. So we, we built the first small mining farm and then there were people coming to us when we built bigger farms and they asked us, what are you doing there? Yeah, this is kind of a room full of computers. And we told them, yeah, we are printing money. They're like, what? Yeah, we are printing money. Yeah? And the people were like, okay, this is crazy. We don't understand it, but we want to participate. And this yeah. is kind of all about Genesis Mining, how Genesis Mining started. Wow, amazing, amazing. I wonder, um, seeing the fact uh, that you uh, are now an expert in cryptocurrency, uh, so I would like to know how do you see the cryptocurrency as a sector to develop in the coming five to 10 years regarding also the Bitcoin? Will it be accepted now as the fiat currency is? Uh, <laughs> I get asked this question quite, quite a lot. and. Um, Bitcoin was um, created end of 2008 or maybe in the years before, kind of was starting beginning of uh, 2009. Yeah. So the, the whole technology is a little bit more than eight years old. And it developed from something when within the first one, two years, almost nothing happened. I, Bitcoin was actually almost at the brink of a collapse because no one was really interested in that. And over time, it went up and up and up, and there was this this, this famous uh, uh, pizza which was bought uh, in the past for ten thousand bitcoins and so on. And over time, it got more and more crazy. Uh, actually, it's kind of a constant level of craziness uh, which which uh, you can observe. And I'm in this since two thousand twelve. It's really hard and really difficult to predict what's going into five, 10 years. So if we extrapolate and kind of see like, okay, Bitcoin went from nothing, really one person did it, to a project which now million people all over the world are using, and where like probably hundreds of million people at least heard about Bitcoin from the newspaper or so, um, I, I think there is quite a lot of things which, which can happen. The one thing is um, the, the usage, the acceptance with certain increase over, over time. There is, um, so many countries all over the world that have problems with their local government issued currency. There was, for example, the demonetization in India, yeah, where the uh, government at one point in time uh, kind of removed from circulation or uh, declared invalid two types of banknotes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is high inflation in some countries like Argentina, Venezuela, and so on. So in these countries, you don't have to explain to people why uh, a currency which is independent of the state and which can be used all over the world, why this is a great idea and a great innovation. So um, Bitcoin acceptance and Ethereum acceptance has increased dramatically in the last two years. And my best guess is like in five years, we'll be on a level where we have like more than 100 million people. And um, I think we are very close now actually from the point of no return where no government in the world can stop this at all. Even if they want to, the economic loss, they would suffer from not being part of it, while all the other countries are using it would be enormous. So if everything works out well, we will see a uh, cryptocurrency world, which will step by step over the next five to 10 years and take over from the, from the government fiat currency. And hopefully in like 20 years from now, we sit here together and uh, children ask us what was this fiat money. No one will know what a US dollar bank note was. And uh, everyone will be using cryptocurrency because also cryptocurrencies makes you not only independent from governments and central banks, but also from, from the banking industry. You don't need permission from a bank. There is um, billions of people that are unbanked or don't have access to the banking system. And this severely limits the economic possibilities to interact with, with other people. So, everyone more or less can afford a cell phone. And as soon as he has a cell phone and access to the internet, he will be part of this cryptocurrency community. So that's a great, great thing. But everybody's super excited about this new project of Omnia, and everybody knows Genesis is not starting an MLM, but Omnia is a proud partner of Genesis Mining, because Genesis Mining is providing the hash power and the hardware. Yeah, that, that's correct. There's just kind of two independent companies. 
um, gender this mining was um, created or founded like three to four years ago, about three and a half years ago. And we are a provider of hash power. So we are providing the mining equipment, the services around that, and, um, and other services. And uh, Omnia is, um, is buying from us the hardware. Um, so they are the rightful and the legal owner of the hardware. But they are also kind of uh, want to have the services because running such a mining farm is a huge, huge, uh, it, it, it looks maybe relatively simple. You say like, oh, I have a computer at home and I can turn it on and it works. But there is so many things that can go wrong. And these, these uh, equipment that really runs at the limit of what is doable. So um, maybe the best comparison is like a, a Formula One racing car. Yeah? So you're at the limit all the time. So you need to check um, that everything is working. If something breaks, um, you, you have to replace it and, uh, and to improve it. You always have to watch the market, what's going on. If there is a new algorithm or if there is a new coin, you want to adapt. If there is a more efficient algorithm, you want to adapt. So what we provide is kind of a service package, but Omnia is also buying the hardware. So the owner of the hardware, where they, um, which was built kind of a mining farm by Genesis Mining, but they also get a full service package from us. Can you explain the part of the full service package? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the hosting of the hardware, um, which means kind of um, sending it to a pool. You have these mining pools, ensuring that the hardware is running close to 100%. If something goes down, our team will be there to repair it. If there is, let's say, some um, ongoing things, like uh, there is a new coin and uh, Omnia wants to mine this new coin, or people can do that. Or if there is, let's say, an efficiency boost, sometimes there's like small things you can change and you can gain a little bit of efficiency, like 5% more hash rate, 10% more hash rate. That's the kind of services we provide. So we are constantly mon monitoring the space and uh, provide also advice, of course, to our partners what's going on and what is interesting. We have the best hands regarding the cryptocurrency world. Yes, we have a long, long experience. And actually, we started uh, four years ago when the market was um, going down for a while. It was kind of going down. The prices were going down for a year, which which can happen. Yeah. Um, but kind of in that time to survive in the time of a downturn, that really makes a strong and good and efficient company. So Genesis Mining and what we are doing, the mining business in general, is all about efficiency. So get the most out of your hardware, get the cheapest electricity prices, and being connected to the hardware companies that produce the, the GPUs. So we know the top people all over the world, and we buy a huge bulk of the hardware, which makes the pricing much better. As we know, there's a lot of interest going on for me in, the, in this market, especially in the network marketing. Um, so we understand that the growth of this company is going to be rapid. Will Genesis Mining be able to supply the service and meet the demand for me? Okay, that, that's a very good question. It's, uh, it's a lot of demand. Um, um, we have been here today with, with 50, 60 highly motivated, enthusiastic people that uh, yeah, are, are going to, to sell to people and to uh, in contact with thousands of people, each of these people that has been here. So I think Omnia will, um, that's my best guess, is kind of will bring it to a new level. Yeah. So we are, of course, realizing that and uh, we are constantly looking because the mining market itself is also growing very fast. Yeah. The Ethereum grew to a $30 billion project in two years or so. so the uh, mining market is growing fast, and on top of that, kind of Omnia is reaching, I think, now um, people or types of people that have not been involved in the cryptocurrency and the mining business. So if your question is a valid one, and we are looking all around the world for new places uh, where we can start mining operations. We have now a huge mining farm, uh, which we are building up in uh, Asia, yeah, which will be over 100 megawatts. We have another location secured, which is almost ready in Sweden. That's 50 megawatts. So that's a lot of electricity, which is used for mining. Yeah? And uh, we are hope, hoping to, to provide all these services and growing this on here. The clients of Omnia, of course, besides the incredible packages that they receive through uh, Dennis Mining, they also receive the expertise. Can you explain this a little bit? The uh, expertise from Genesis Mining that is provided is based on our experience in the cryptocurrency market. So there's a lot of things, a lot of new projects in Ethereum, in Bitcoin and so on. So you have to be constantly monitoring the space and to see kind of 
what could happen next. And you have to advise your your um, uh, clients and your partners about that. Like what is the possibilities? For example, like in Bitcoin, there is in uh, November another split with the SegWit 2x coming, and most likely there uh, will be another project coming out of that, which is kind of more um, uh, supported by the core Bitcoin supporters and most of the developers. So there is also always coming up opportunities of some of these events uh, occur. Right. There is uh, maybe a new coin, a new uh, Bitcoin core coin coming out of that, which might be even GPU mineable. So there is something going on which is outside of the cryptocurrency world, which is machine learning. Yeah? Um, people have heard now, and you can read a lot about machine learning and how big it becomes over the next couple of years. And this type of um, markets you have to watch all the time because they, they, they move so fast. And what we provide also to Omnia is these kind of service that we also advise them and see like, okay, there is an opportunity there or be careful here. So why would someone um, want to mine with cloud mining, uh, like Genesis or Omnia, mm -hmm. uh, when they can just purchase hardware and mine it themselves? That's, that's a good question. So um, two parts in this answer. Um, part one. Everyone who has, let's say, a little bit of technical expertise should do it just for fun, then you will find out how complicated that is. Yeah, it sounds too easy. Yeah, I just plug a GPU in my graphic uh, in my computer and I start mining, right? That's yeah. But it, as I said, you're always at the technical limit. It's not too easy to, to configure this and to, to, to run this uh, software and to keep it up running and mining. If you have the technical expertise, you should try it. Yeah, it's, it's a great experience, but probably only a few people at the end of the day will do it. What are the disadvantages of that? It's kind of more expensive to do it this way because you buy a single GPU and you don't buy 100,000 GPUs. You don't, or most people around the world, they have higher electricity prices because obviously if you buy electricity, electricity at a huge scale, so it's kind of the scale which uh, helps Genesis Mining here to, to keep the prices much lower than any individual can do that. Uh, in addition to that, um, mining produces a lot of heat. You have seen this here today in the, in the mining farm. Yeah, so there is a, a, a number of fans there and there's a lot of cold air converted to hot air. So if you have these machines running at home, you also produce a lot of hot air and in the summer you might not be too happy about that. And um, it also produces a lot of noise because you want to run your mining machine all the time to make the best use of your uh, equipment. So it produces a lot of noise um, and normally the partners are not, if, unless they are also mining enthusiasts, they are not so happy about that if there is some rig running in the living room 24 hours, uh, it, it's not good. There is so many other issues. Um, some of the mining equipment takes a lot of time to, um, to come from, let's say, from China. Um, if something breaks, you need to ensure kind of how to repair it, send it back to China. Um, there is problems with the custom and so on. So it's, there's, there's a number of reasons why mining is really a, a difficult and tedious job. So Marco, I'm just wondering, Chris, I mean, if I uh, would you know, choose a coin to mine, except the Bitcoin, um, are there any uh, advice you would give to me or to your friends uh, with uh, Trumia that uh, you should look into? There is, yeah, there is different types of coin, as you said, and there is like Bitcoin, which is a very stable coin, and there is Ethereum, which is uh, pushing forward the technology very fast. There is, for example, Zcash, which is um, looking a bit more on the, or, or kind of specializes and provided anonymity to its users. Um, I, I think the coin that kind of moves or has the most momentum also from a development perspective certainly is Ethereum. Yeah, it's kind of not so specialized like most of the the other coins, it's kind of more like a platform where several other projects can uh, use it as a platform and build on top of that. So Ethereum certainly is, a, is an interesting coin. Um, if it comes to, let's say, daily mining revenues, um, it's more like that the market is very efficient and there is, if there is an efficiency kind of, uh, people will move the hash rate to the one or the other coin. But if you look long term, Ethereum certainly is an interesting coin. As usual in life, there is no guarantees for that. But um, if you if you kind of see how many teams and how many projects and ICOs there on Ethereum, that's certainly a, a good measure. Okay, so no, well, Dr. Marco, it was really an honor to see you here in Iceland, and um, uh, 
uh, to receive all this information and expertise from the person himself. Um, thank you very much. And uh, so let's go to the mining firm. I'm really excited to see them. Yes, thank you for, for being here, taking yeah. the long uh, way to uh, Iceland to see this mining firm and bringing all these very highly motivated and enthusiastic people. Um, that's that's a great thing actually about cryptocurrencies to see all these people coming together um, kind of under the vision of Satoshi Nakamoto and pushing the cryptocurrency sector forward. That's uh, very exciting. <laughs> Okay, guys, like I said, there's a big event coming up in um, <clears throat> in London this Sunday, kicking off at 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock till 7 o'clock. So I'm going to be just taking a look at that, popping along, probably staying overnight on the Saturday night, get there nice and early ready for 1 o'clock start rather than traveling up on the day. What's going on, guys? And, um, we're here bringing you a brand new cryptocurrency let me video. Just, in um, this video, I want to talk about Genesis mining because there's some pretty big just news Just two today, seconds, guys. Let me as well switch as show you this. the possibility of the Ethereum and Monero mining contract. So basically, today, I woke up and I saw... Yeah, guys, so this Sunday, okay, um, kicking off at 1 o'clock. So if you're in the London area, let me know and I can meet up with you either the night before, Saturday night for a drink, or anytime sort of from 11, 12, 1 o'clock onwards on the Sunday. So, like I said, it's very early days. I've just taken, um, I was invited out to the, um, to the, to the, um, the event they had out in Iceland last, um, when was it? What day were we today? Monday. Yeah, last Monday or Monday or Tuesday last week, they, they were flying out to um, the Enigma mining farm in Iceland. I was invited out to that by the owners of this company. All expenses paid, but I did, um, I turned it down last minute just as um, I not so much had cold feet, but I just didn't want to go out there and um, jump in head first, you know, and um, sort of upset people. People get the wrong idea sometimes, but you know, I'm a man of multiple income streams. I, I spread my risk, so um, I'm always looking for other ways of making money and just you know, who, who knows what's around the corner, okay? So I'm I'm, I'm using this company, going to be using it just mainly for altcoin mining okay um ethereum mainly ethereum classic um you know litecoin dashcoin and zcash those type of coins which um omnia can provide as a mining service now um a lot of people are saying that um they they may or they are paying a little bit less with regards to mining power compared to um genesis or swiss gold or a few other um, mining companies out there that may be the case but um, the, the contracts are lifetime so um that's what's ticked the box for me, okay? They, they are lifetime mining and contracts where a lot of the other companies are sort of two-year contracts. So um, basically what they do is if, if, if for whatever reason the Ethereum contract or the Litecoin or the Dashcoin contract becomes unprofitable over any period of time, either be one year or two years or three years, they will actually switch it to another coin for you, basically free of charge. So you, you continue to earn a daily income, you know? So I thought that was pretty powerful and a bit of a game changer, a good selling point for this company. So basically, it's a one-time payment. And um, yeah, you will pay um, $49 on top of each package you decide to buy. So if you went for a $500 package, you, you're going to pay $549. If you went for a $100 package, you're going to pay uh, $149. But a $1,000 package, uh, $1,049. Okay, that's a one-time $49 sort of fee that like, like Swiss Gold charge um, $250 up front and $50 a month, or Big Club Network charge $99 one-time membership. All these different companies charge fees. So just treat it the same as that, really. So that, that hasn't really bothered me. But uh, the main thing is that, um, that they are lifetime sort of altcoin contracts. So um, one-time payments, and they'll continue to pay you ongoing for life. And if the contract, if the, if the Ethereum or Litecoin or Dashcoin contract becomes unprofitable within six, nine, 12 months or two years of, of making your, your investment, then they'll switch that um, for you free of charge to the next best altcoin because they're apparently there's obviously you know, two or three years ahead. There are going to be new coins coming up, which can be mineable. Lots of new coins hit in the market. And um, 
Omni are going to be out there looking for that next best coin which they can mine. You know, so you can switch your coins anytime, even um, just by choice. You, you, you could mine the Ethereum. You, you could take a, a Ethereum package today and mine it for six months. And if for, whatever, if for whatever reason you want to change your mind, you can switch that Ethereum mining contract to Dashcoin, to Litecoin, to Zcash. Just send them an email through support, and they will swap that um, contract for you. So I thought, that, I thought that was pretty powerful as well. So like I said, I'm just going to give the, the company the benefit of the doubt right now, and um, you're going to get a few people that will probably knock the company. Any new company starting off in pre-launch always gets its critics. And uh, at the end of the day, all I'm doing is spreading my risk, okay? And um, and I'm off to London on Sunday. I've turned down, um, I wish I'd gone to the event now in Iceland, just, you know, just to get that connection with um, Dr. Marco Crone, the, uh, the, the guy behind, uh, one of the guys, um, of, of the three guys behind Genesis Mining. But um, like I said, I pulled up last minute, so I'm a bit annoyed at myself there for that, for whatever reason I chose there. But um, I'm hoping to catch up with some of the key guys this Sunday in London. Let's just take a look at this video, guys. It's just a couple of minutes long. I think I've watched this the once, but uh, this this is like um, a promotional corporate video from Omnia. The world is changing. Technology is rapidly advancing. Today, we are living in a digital world. It is part of us. It is how we communicate with each other, share our experiences, conduct businesses, how we entertain ourselves and stay in touch with our loved ones. This is how we used to communicate via letters, to travel, to make phone calls and record videos. Mankind invented technologies to improve our standard of living, enabled us to break every barrier, order, difficulty, and bringing generations together like never before. Technology has literally revolutionized every industry except for one. What about the banks? What steps have they taken to improve their relevance and quality of their services? Think about it. Billions of people in the world still do not have access to financial tools. Hardly any recent innovations come to mind. Borders and the systems create barriers. We trust banks, but they collapse time and time again. The reality of ever-growing inflation is constant. The savings you have in your bank account is decreasing in value every other month with the current rate of inflation. Banks have taken hundreds of billions of dollars from us in fees. There must be something better, faster, and more trustworthy in this era of instant communication. In the same way that the internet changed how we came to access information, the way it revolutionized the consumer and media sectors, it should also be able to facilitate a revolution in banking and currency. It could offer a new type of service. In case you haven't heard, this economic reset has already begun. Digital currency, also known as cryptocurrency, is gaining traction as it becomes more and more accepted by major companies. Companies with names like Microsoft, PayPal, Virgin Media, and hundreds of thousands of others. The rate of adoption is increasing exponentially every day, which is now forcing banks to recognize and adapt to this new innovation. It's no coincidence that the same year the markets crashed, cryptocurrency was born. Bitcoin is the first decentralized cryptocurrency, which is underpinned by a technology called blockchain. Bitcoin is for everyone to use, irrespective of where you were born, what color your skin is, or where you are in the world. It is a consensus mechanism, and anyone can verify the transaction instantly. Bitcoin reduces transaction fees significantly, and you can send any amount of money anywhere in the world without having to go through a central intermediary or a bank. Blockchain is a blueprint for a new economy, already in the process of revolutionizing the financial sector. Some of the planet's greatest financial and technological minds, Richard Branson and Bill Gates, for example, are firmly on board. This isn't just a passing trend. Cryptocurrency is real, and it is 100% necessary. In 2011, the value of Bitcoin was 30 cents, by 2013, it was over $1,100. And most recently, Bitcoin was at an astounding all-time high of $3,000. According to a Bloomberg report, the success of Bitcoin has spawned countless overnight millionaires, like the Norwegian man Christopher Koch, who bought $27 worth of Bitcoin only a few years ago. As of today, his Bitcoins are worth more than $11 million. Another example is Eric Finman a high school dropout who invested in Bitcoin 
and very recently became a millionaire at age 18. It is too late for you to get into cryptocurrency and Bitcoin now, said some people when Bitcoin was worth $1 in 2011, $100 in 2013, $400 in 2014, $700 in 2016, and very recently, $3,000 in early 2017. According to many financial analysts, this party hasn't even started yet. Bitcoin is expected to reach $10,000, $100,000, and even $500,000. It is not just Bitcoin that is on a rapid rise. Numerous emerging cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, are gaining value at a rapid pace due to their unique technological solution and endorsements from some of the most renowned corporations in the world. Cryptocurrency is the fastest growing value transfer phenomenon in history. Just one year ago, the cryptocurrency sector as a whole was valued at $11 billion. As of today, that number has surpassed $100 billion. The crypto economy is growing outside of traditional venues in a global scale. Given this astronomical growth, the future is only predictable. Obviously, people want in now. But the question is, how do you get cryptocurrencies? While buying cryptocurrency is an option, and it may be sound advice, at the same time, it also carries risk, given that it is a volatile market. If you choose a particular cryptocurrency to invest in, and it does not go up in value as expected, it may not be feasible, especially someone new to this market. Also, there are limited options in terms of what you can do with it should the value decrease. Therefore, you need a much safer, long-term solution. Those who are making millions off of Bitcoin and other altcoins understand that it's about maximizing the value and making big picture investments. We are talking about mining cryptocurrencies with Omnia's Mining Club, a proud partner of Genesis Mining, the leading hash power provider, and a market leader in the mining industry of cryptocurrencies. They have been featured in Forbes, CNBC, Coindesk, and other press. Our goal is to make mining accessible to all users regardless of age, location, investment, or technical experience. Within our mining strategy, we take a unique approach to risk management. Our customers are not tied to a single coin. Instead, we provide the flexibility to reallocate your hashing power to other profitable cryptocurrencies at any time. Nor do you have to worry about making changes should a particular cryptocurrency become unprofitable. Our group of experts, possessing years of experience in this field, are constantly watching out for emerging coins to mine. They will automatically reallocate your hashing power to the most profitable coin for you. Most importantly, we provide lifetime mining thanks to our new mining strategy. With us, you're not setting up costly equipment. You're not running loud servers in your home. You just choose your desired package and within a matter of a few clicks, start diversifying your cryptocurrency portfolio while generating revenue through our mining firms. You will receive daily payouts directly to your e-wallet. This is a great way to get into the cryptocurrency world and safeguard your financial future. Cryptocurrency is becoming more relevant and more accepted every day. It is easy to see that big changes are coming to the traditional concept of money and the way it is used. This is a perfect time to be part of this global community of inclusion, an invitation to participate in an open world. Please contact the person who shared this video with you and join thousands of other miners who already have a head start. I like that guys are very professional, very, very professional. Um, that ticks all the boxes for me. And some of the key points in our video, as the presenter was saying, um, the lifetime mining packages, okay, very important, lifetime mining packages. And uh, Omnia will move uh, your package to any other package. But if, 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 uh, if any particular coin becomes unprofitable, for example, Monero, Litecoin, Dashcoin, Ethereum, even Bitcoin, um, if that particular coin becomes unprofitable, they will move your, your contract, your package to the next best coin. And as I stated earlier, there's lots of up and coming coins, which um, Omnia are on the lookout to mine as well. You know, So they're looking after our, um, the best interest, basically, of, of me you, as investors in this, um, in this setup. Okay, So um, a very professional website, nicely put together. 
the coloring is nice. Everything's you can see has been set up to um, a professional standard. This is a really good, great point here, guys. Bottom right, Visa, MasterCard, obviously Bitcoin. Um, I bought three packages just the, as a test. I bought three $500 packages. I took three positions. My top position, and I positioned the right and the left leg below my top position. And I, and I uh, used the same Visa debit card, and I bought three packages at $549. $49 is a fee on top of the, um, of the $500. And uh, the, the, payment, the payments went straight through on my credit card. No problems, no rejections. Didn't have to pull my credit card company. So I love the fact that um, they got Visa and debit card on board with no, um, with no glitches. It's great. So, um, like I said, for me, it was just a bit of a no-brainer, really, just to get in, get a position, and um, just buy a package. You can do the same. You can test this. You know, you can either sit back and um, watch this for the next couple of months and, and lose that potential what I call first mover advantage, and that's very important. In every business that I've been successful in, as you know, I, I spread my my um, my portfolio. It's, I'd love to be able to stick to uh, one business and, and and build one business. Some people do that; that's great. But as you know, I'm already in um, three stroke, two, three, four other successful setups, and um, I'm certainly adding this to my portfolio. Let's see if I can actually log in here. Um, I may have to reset. Oh, there you go. As you can see, guys, um, 964 members uh, that have hit the um, the power leg in my team in the last couple of days. It says, or well, since you know, I kicked this off, so. Um, this is starting to take shape, okay? So people are starting now to buy positions. They, 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 they secure in positions. And um, just to, you know, I think that I think the position is actually secured. You can take a spot right now. I think you may have then two weeks to actually make a purchase. So it locks in that spot for you, you know? So I would certainly get in as soon as you can, just set up a free account for now at least. Okay, and, um, and then while you've got two weeks then to think about it, perhaps come along to the event on Sunday. And then decide then um, which package um, you want to buy. Okay. And as I said, these are lifetime packages, one-time payments. Let me just see if I'm not going to. I'm not going to go into detail, guys, about the compensation plan and um, and the actual packages itself. But if you just come on to omnia-tech.eu, okay, and click on um, price in here, you'll get some idea. As I said, guys, if you want to compare like for like, and I know some people are um, uh, analyzers, they go in and compare these with the other um, cloud mining um, platforms. But like I said, they are paying a little bit less on the mining power than um, Genesis in itself, um, and a few of the other, um, well, just Genesis mining, basically. But um, these packages, they are lifetime packages. So to me, in the long term, they're going to pay more than the competitors because they'll keep, keep continue continue to pay you on a lifetime package on a daily basis. So, um, like I said, whatever you come in at, guys, hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Um, I think there's actually a fifty dollar package as well, which they haven't got on this site yet. But uh, I wouldn't worry so much about that. But the hundred dollars at least come in on um, take up a uh, package, and the, these packages will, will continue to pay you. Uh, daily on a lifetime basis, as I keep saying. So they may not pay so much in, in the shorter term, okay, because compared to Genesis, for example, uh, uh, two-year contracts, okay. Uh, after the two years are up, these will continue to pay after the two years. So uh, you certainly break even in, in around less than a year, would have thought, on these, okay. So, and then obviously, after that, you're going to be in profit. But obviously, if you decide to build a team, that's, that's a different ballgame altogether, guys. You want to build a team. Uh, you, you all know that the, the, uh, the, the, the team builders and the networkers out there are going to make a lot more money, okay? So, um, we've got Ethereum and Ethereum Classic right now, which is um, all up and running on Bitcoin. Zcash and Litecoin are out of stock for, uh, for now for some reason. I'll check, check that with the head office. But you've got Ethereum. I, I like Ethereum Classic and Ethereum. These, these are the two I'm going to be working with right now. Um, within all years, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, I'll up my um, my portfolio with, with these two coins. Okay, that's the plan. 
I've, I've taken three of these Kickstarter packages, $500, are you okay? But like I said, if you, can, if you want to take three packages like I've done, make sure you, you click, um, you take your first position, okay, using my link. But then when you take your second position and the third position, make sure you use your affiliate link from this first position and sponsor yourself twice, basically, left and right. But this is a binary compensation plan if you want to build a team. If you're not interested in building a team and just want to just take a package and become a passive, a passive investor on a lifetime package, then that is it, guys. Just, just make one of these payments. And they go right up to... Um, Right up to twenty-five thousand pounds, and apparently they're adding a fifty thousand and a hundred thousand, I think, as well, shortly as well. So that'll be quite interesting. And you can make these payments on um, a credit or debit card, which gives me a lot of security. I feel a lot safer paying for something on a credit debit card. You can also use Bitcoin as well. Rue is asking now uh, when she selects product. When I try to register, what should I choose? You, yes, you've asked that question. Um, Many a times, Rue, um, product is, um, well, it's up to you, Rue. Uh, Ru. You can choose Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, or Bitcoin right now, but um, I would go for the Ethereum, personally, because obviously I think you're already mining Bitcoin in another program, Rue, so I would go for, for uh, Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, one of these two here. When these pack, when Zcash become available on Litecoin, I'm going to be taking a position in you as well, Zcash and Litecoin as well. But right now I've got, um, I've got an interest in um, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic right now. So let me... Um, let me just try and explain to um, Rue. Uh, there you go. So say for example, there's my link there, okay? This is the sign up link. I put that in the chat anyway. So there you go. This is the sign up page. All you do, guys, okay. My sponsor is obviously going to show there. Product. You can choose a free package for now. Just get a position, okay. If you want to talk about things later, just choose the free package for now and give me a ring later or tomorrow. If you want to go in on the on the Kickstarter, that's the five hundred dollar package. I would just click Kickstarter. Last on the light miner is a thousand dollar package. So save example there. Click, click on Kickstarter, then click on Ethereum, okay, and then put in your your Ethereum uh, wallet address, okay. So we all know how to get an Ethereum wallet address. If you're not sure, set up an account in um, in Bitrex. You can actually use um, Blockchain is also now compatible with um, Ethereum. Let me, let me just check if that's up and running. There you go. So there's Ethereum there, okay. Click on request in blockchain there, and that will give you, give you your Ethereum um, wallet address, okay. Or if you're in Bittrex, very easy. Go into Bittrex, click on search, click on Ethereum. There is Ethereum there, okay, and click on the plus sign. Plus sign, okay. Sorry, that's Ethereum Classic, ETH. Click on the plus sign. There you go. Um, it's just loading. I don't know why that's taking so long, guys. Um, Oh, sorry, my fault, new address. There you go. There's your Ethereum address there. Okay, copy down to your mouse. And then you go back to this, come back to the, the sign-up page and paste it in there like that. Okay, and then click on Next. That will then take you then um, to the next page where you fill up your username, password, date of birth, address, country, accept the terms and conditions, click on Next. That will then take you to um, a credit card page where you can make your payment on credit, uh, Visa, debit card. So that's it for now, guys. Um, many questions on that. I know I blabbled uh, on a bit, but um, like I said, I'm off to London on Sunday to, to check all this out, meet up with all the leaders and the owners and all the people behind this, okay? So I'll have some more information for you next on Sunday. Apparently, 1,200 tickets have sold out for Sunday, so I thought, wow, that's pretty impressive. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty big event on Sunday, so um, I don't want to miss that, okay? 
that's a good point. Um, if you want to book for the event, um, Hussam, send me a link, send me a message on Facebook, okay? And I'll send you the link. It's an Eventbrite link. Um, there's two prices on the tickets, I believe. £25 a standard ticket and um, £100 for a, a VIP and special treatment ticket. So it's two, two prices there. It's one of those events which obviously, you know, is, is, is going to cost to put together. And um, that's quite normal that you have to pay to um, attend these events, which are sort of professionally set up, you know? So I'm gonna I'm gonna unmute uh, on um, Zoom, okay? There'll probably be a lot of background noise and um, before I shoot off. Do you have any questions on uh, Zoom, guys? Hi, James. How are you doing? Oh, not too good. Not too bad. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. yeah they stopped the they stopped the mining for a while, huh? They ran out of the contract. Where's that now on the Swiss gold? Bitcoin, Swiss gold, they ran out. Uh, oh, right, okay. <coughs> Let me um, go back on that. On. Yeah, no worries there. But like I said, I'm using um, the, the main reason for using Omni, as I said, is is, is mainly for. Yes, for, for Bitcoin as well, but mainly for the Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and the the Litecoin, and the um, and the yeah, Zcash, you know, and uh, any other coin, any other alternative coins that, that they bring on in the future. Um, Omnia. My plan is to I use bought, them for the old coins, that's for sure. I bought Ethereum on 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 uh, mining, but I haven't been paid yet. Huh? Right. Okay. Like I said, the only reason what I like about Omnia is the fact that they are lifetime mining packages and um, they got that easy credit card payment as well, very fast. And uh, I like the fact that they're going to move, they'll move your, your packages or, or your mining contracts to another coin if for whatever reason that particular coin becomes unprofitable. I like that. Or you can even move the, the, the packages yourself anytime. You know, if, you, if you change your mind um, next week or next month, you want to move it from Ethereum to, to Zcash, they, they also do that for you as well. So a pretty flexible sort of open-ended life contract so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting how things pan out with this i know it's getting a lot of interest and loads of people are joining uh, what's the new coin on, on uh exodus what's the what the new coin they have a new coin there. oh on exodus um i have noticed that let me have a look um on the on the panel i mean um No, this. Oh, you mean these? These? This? Which one? No, your you, your your site is the old one. Yeah, it's still the same, I think. Uh, Aragon, Arga, uh, no, EOS. Uh, they have a new community for the community. Oh right, okay. It's only go something like that. It's uh, Omi, Omi C Go. Hmm? It's O M I S E G O. Uh, Omi Go. Okay. O. O M I S E G O. I can't see that on mine, so unless I got I got the old software on here, I don't know. Yeah, you got to, you got to upgrade to uh, 1.3, 2.0. Yeah, I'm on 1.3 right now, so I'll upgrade the software. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on 1.3. I'm on, I'm on 1.30 right now. Which software are you on, James for Exodus? Yeah, Exodus. I I upgraded to 1.3, 2.0. 1 1.3, 2.0 is it? That's right. Yeah, okay, I'll get that updated then. Oh. Okay, so um, let me uh, get rid of some background noise here. Lots of, lots of background noise. That's the problem when you unmute people. Mm. Does anyone ask any questions besides James? Uh, yes, Adrian, can you hear me? Yeah, who's that? 
Yes, please. Uh, two questions, actually. One about, I've just received an email like from Swiss Gold, like they say mm -hmm. that they have received some uh, correspondence from Genesis Mining that Bitcoin hash power is currently poly fully exhausted and will be suspended mon monetarily. Just like what, just like what does that mean? I mean, and uh, mm -hmm. the other thing with regard to Omnia, why do they just like keep 50% of whatever like you buy and put it aside? I mean, do you have any idea about that? Um, it's not actually fifty percent. I'll get um, I'll get clarification on that. Um, you mean on the actual no, frequency? Yes, actually, because I heard that, for example, when you buy, like, for example, for three thousand, you only get paid on the one thousand five hundred hash power, and the other they keep it for a reason. I don't know what they. Yes, yeah, it's not actually fifty percent, though, is it? Have you done done your figures on that? It's not. It's not actually fifty percent less. It's, it's, it is a little bit less, but it's not. Like, don't forget, they are lifetime contracts. Uh huh. So they, they, it's not actually fifty percent less. Otherwise, um, they make, make uh, sense. Yeah. yeah. This. Uh, let me have a look. Um, I, I haven't actually an, analyzed the, the pricing, but which example are you using? Um, the three thousand one actually. Right. Okay. On Bitcoin or Ethereum? Uh, Bitcoin. Right. I'm using. Um, I'm only going to be using um, Omnia right now for all the for all the old coins, you know. But okay. anyway, um, let me take a look. Yeah, I agree. I think yeah, they do all at least fifty percent of the hash power they take to themselves, and they only give you fifty percent of the hash power. No, you, I know you. I know. I know why you're thinking that because it's under because it's showing 132 and 66, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, but that's. Don't forget when you you, you take off fifty percent as well with Genesis and Swiss Gold as well. Don't forget. Uh, no, not yeah. with Genesis. You, on the uh, on the calculator, you have to take off fifty percent for the mining and uh, the the overheads and the hardware. Oh, if that's the case, then no difference. I mean, uh... well, let me let me show you. Um, hold on a minute. Um, let's go on to um, Aliscomp. Have you all seen this? Alice Gump, Bitcoin, Bitcoin calculator? Yeah. So if, you, if you stick um, 15 terahash in there, okay, which is, um, as we know, is, is 1950, isn't it, with Swiss gold, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, as you know, we don't get $16 a day, do we? No, no, no. So you have to half this $16 at least. Well, it's, I'll take it to eight dollars, so it's not quite half. You normally, get around about ten dollars. Sometimes a little bit more. So yeah, I've done it it's the same thing, you know. All right. With um, regards to this year, for example, this this is. Um, let me go into. Um, I know we're going to get this all the time. These these questions now, but. Um, But the major, but the big difference is that it's a lifetime contract. Uh, that's what the, the big, big yeah. That's the, the thing for me is a lifetime contract. That's right. And also, if any particular coin becomes unprofitable, they will move it to another coin fee, uh, another up and coming coin. And, and apparently, over the next two or three years, there are going to be new coins coming out that that are mineable. So we don't know. There could be another. There could be any other coin, a new coin that comes out in the next couple of weeks, months, years. So if Ethereum becomes unprofitable. Then, as you know, Genesis contract-wise could actually cancel that contract. Mm -hmm. they? Yeah. They could easily. Uh, Adrian, did you get the email? The last email that came from Swiss Gold today. I haven't read it myself. I've heard people. Yeah, yeah, I've had a few people saying um, that, that, that the package is out of stock. Is that right? Yeah, they're they're out of BTC contract. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, we're not saying it's normal, but that's down to supply and demand. It does happen before, but normally they, they've come back in stock within a few days, sometimes a week, they have come back into stock. But um, you just have to wait there on that, on that one, but they, they, don't stay, they don't normally stay out of stock for long. They do come back in stock normally after a couple of days. What, but what does that mean? Does that mean like if we need to compound now our earnings, does that mean we're gonna, we won't be able to compound it into Bitcoin? Well, no, in, in, in theory, no, you can't um, see if it's, we just test it here or not. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not, it's not even there. Look, the contract is only Ethereum is there. Look. Ethereum. Okay, yeah. okay. So, um, but the, the difference is Omnia, what, what I'm understanding from the, all the guys I've spoken to is that they, they buy in the hardware. They are buying hardware from, um, from Genesis, okay? They buy in the hardware. So they, Omnia have, have got their own allocation of hardware so they can carry on mining Bitcoin, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Probably they bought all the hardware, so that's why Genesis is run out, out of VC contract. Well, that's, that's a good that's, that's a good point. That you who knows that might that may be the case. Um, you know, obviously they are building. They got two new farms. I think one in um, Sweden, and where was the other? Where was the other place? They they they, built, they got new farms up. They, they got new farms being built. I can't think of the other place. Out in, out in Asia somewhere, there's a big. They, they, you know, they 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 building new farms, isn't they, Genesis, to keep up with the demand. Okay, but uh, like Adrian, has anyone from them like spoke to you about why, what's the reason that their hash power is more expensive than like, for example, like Genesis, even mm -hmm. though they are using Genesis, but did they mention to you why there's a reason for that? Why is Genesis mining, mining hash? No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Why like Omnia hash power is more expensive than when you buy it directly from Genesis? Well, I'm, I'm assuming they have to... Um account for the lifetime contracts don't forget so i would rather i would rather have a less hash rate today uh, at least i'm break i know i'm breaking even in say six in say nine or twelve months but if i keep getting paid for the second year and the third year and the fourth year ongoing then that's going to pay more than it that's going to pay more than a genesis contract isn't it yeah it's, yes, just, yes. it's paying a, it's paying off you know what is a lifetime lifetime may be classed as 10 12 15 years we don't know i was going to go then but um at the end of the day, um, they've got some kind of partnership or some kind of setup where they can continue to pay you over a period of, of over a lifetime. But there's so many, there's so many affiliates have come in. You know, 60 leaders went out went out to uh, Iceland last Monday, Tuesday. I was invited um, to go up there, but uh, I I pulled up the last minute for uh, for whatever reason. I should have gone. I wish I had gone now, but. Um, it's going to be a, it's, it's, this is really going to be pushed. I, Genesis have really got their work cut out now because there's going to be so many affiliates pushing this, supplying, want, want, wanting the business or passing over the business to Genesis. They're going to have to keep up, you know? Mm. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think Genesis will keep up and they are we've got more mining farms coming on board, haven't they? Ready for this. Out in Asia and one in Sweden, apparently. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. The, um, how the word of mouth gets out from Well, uh, personally, my first impression about like Omnia when I looked at the compensation plan, it's much better, I found it, than the one in other companies, like for example, Swiss Gold. It's more simple and more effective. I don't know, maybe because yeah, of the I, have, yeah. I haven't gone through it in detail, I, I haven't expertised it yet, but it's, yeah, apparently it's a binary, it's a right and left, and it's a binary, and um, I've taken three positions already. I've taken um, a top one position. I bought a left and I bought a right, so I, I bought three positions. And um, the power leg, there's just hundreds and hundreds of people going into this power leg right now. And um, obviously, it's down to you and me uh, to, to build that left leg. You know, you're not going to get everything done for you as a network guy. You got to put some work in. Yeah. But um, for somebody who's not a networker, then you've got the you've got the passive, you've got the, the lifeline passive the package. You know, so. Um, I'm trying to. Uh, I can't even compare now because the um, Swiss Gold site is down for the um, for the for the hash rate. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to compare. It's just see Genesis mining you all on. Um. Mm -hmm. I think I blocked out this account because I was blocked out a bit earlier today. No, I got to reset my password. I wanted to get into this and um, 
I wanted to find out the pricing on. Um, <clears throat> if you use it, for, if, you, if you use it for, if you use for example, um, one thousand nine hundred fifty, that's giving you fifteen giga hash. If you take. Um, If you take two of the packages, say, say you just take two of the light, the light miner packages here, okay? Yeah. Um, 5.714 times two. What's 5.714 times two? You if you look at that there, okay? Two of these packages, okay? 1,000. Two times five point seven is uh, eleven point four two. Yeah. So yes, that's that's eleven and a half for the same yeah. amount of genesis. You get you're getting about eleven and a half, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You get about three and a half, three and a half terahash less. Okay. It's three and a half. <laughs> you get that? Yeah. So to me, um, that's yes, it's a little bit less, but to me, that's when you compare. That they that they're lifetime contracts, so I'm I'm prepared to accept a, a lesser mining power for the sake of three um three terahash. I'm gonna I'm gonna lifetime package for my for my two thousand pound for example. So yeah, I know I know Bitcoin is life um is a lifetime package anyway, but if, if you compare it to Ethereum, which is not a lifetime package within um within Swiss Gold or, or Genesis Mining, I'm prepared to take that a little bit less. On the on the mining power, so I know then I got a flexible contract which can be moved from one to the other. If one becomes yeah. non-profitable, I can move it to another one, and uh, it's, it's longer. It's, it's a two-year plus, you know, it's a lifetime contract. So, in the short term, it may be it may be not as good in that in that first year, but after that, um, I believe the the lifetime contracts on Ethereum, the classic mining will, will be better. Yeah? And culture calls for the harshest possible penalties. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let me just move this along. Oh, Jonathan! Let me move Jonathan. Then he had some background noise. Um, it makes sense to be honest with you because again, like with Swiss Gold, we don't know how long it's going to be profitable, even to mind the lifelong the the package for Bitcoin. If it's something goes, uh, at least here they move it to new coins or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So at the end of the day, um, Genesis are the number one, or the, or more or less the number one miners out there. But um, at the moment, yes, um, Omni have got a, a real good partnership set up contract with them. So they're getting the best of services. So, um, but who knows, uh, you know, who knows with Omni, they get that independent. They, Omni may, may be able to link up with, a, with another big, with, with another mining um, company in the next six, nine, 12 months, one year, two years time, you know? Mm. They haven't got to stick to Genesis today. They could, they could link up, they could partner up with another mining company, couldn't they as well? True, to be honest with you, after the last hack that happens to Genesis, everybody's scared a bit, like to be mm -hmm. stuck with one only, I don't know. Well, there you go. So if Omnia, if Omnia acts as, um, as um, like a broker, they, they, can, they can make contracts and partnerships with Hashflare or, or other, any other company, you know? Yeah, and um, that's going to give the likes of me and you the end user more, more flexibility. So um, who knows the way it's going to go? Um, Actually, you know, uh, I was going to tell you, like, I'm, I'm under you also in Bit Club, you know. But Bit Club, do they use the same? Do they, do they use the Genesis as well? Oh, so, um, the very, um, Just moved a few people. Uh, yeah, apparently, um, apparently it's been it's kept quiet. I think, but apparently, yeah, Big Club do use Genesis Mining, yeah. But they haven't been affected by the hack that happened recently. Like, I mean, unlike like Swiss Gold, where there are some mess up, you know, in the payment system and things like that. But I with the, the reason, Big Club, the being, they carry on. Yeah, the reason being, I think, don't forget, Big Club Network. When you buy a mining package, you only get on, apparently only forty percent goes into the mining, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not all of your, all of your money goes into the mining. Forty percent goes into the mining, money and apparently the other forty percent goes into um into the into the binary, the compensation plan, and then twenty percent goes to the owners. So they they 
big cup, big cup network have probably got billions in their account, or millions and whatever, millions and millions in their account. They can afford to still pay us out on a daily basis, you know? Yeah, yeah, it is. But of course, when you compare their payment with like Swiss Gold, Swiss Gold, I found it much better when it comes to payment. I mean, uh, okay, that's a big club now. Okay, we are in it, but it's like slower compared to others. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, big club is slower compared to definitely compared to um, if you're just a Swiss passive Gold. investor and um, big club pays less on the mining compared to Swiss Gold Global and Genesis. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, it's a big difference. There's another major difference. The Bit Club is, has its own Bitcoin uh, mining pool, whereas Swiss Gold Global is, and Omnia is just buying the hash power from Genesis. So Bit Club is basically a mining pool itself, you know. Um, probably that's the reason they actually are able to pay out straight away and without any delays or something. What do, what do you mean? They got their own mining pool, you mean? Yeah, if you go to the blockchain.info slash pools, you will see all the major mining pools. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bit Club's on there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Don't forget, um, don't forget, um, Big Club. I've, I've made. I would have thought they've made a lot of revenue from the trading of the club coin as well. Possibly as well. They, they, they may have had a lot of income off that as well. The trading of it. You know what I mean? I'm assuming they've been buying and selling those coins at, 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 at certain prices and buying low and selling high. What, what's your take on that, the club coin? Because like it's, you know, last month it went to 66 cent and then came down again to 33, I don't know. I mean, so what do you think, like, Adrian, is it gonna... Well, it's a good question, isn't it, club coin? Um, I sold all my club coins right at the, at the top at some point, a while ago, a long time ago. So... Um, a few thousands there, I don't know. But it's, how much is club coin right now, do you know? I think thirty-three. I think. Hmm. Uh, thirty-three cent. Oh, thirty-three. That's, that's, that's a good price. Thirty-three cent. Um, that's a good price. You know, it's a, it's a reasonable price. It's not like a penny share no more. It's up. It's up there. You know. You can see the price of it. Hold on. Um, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of. There's a lot of big. Big networkers promoting club coins. A lot of people making a lot of money from 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 um, sorry, big club. A lot of people making um, a lot of money from this setup. It's forty one cents now. Forty one. Wow. <laughs> so if you look at the chart there, look, it's um, looks like it's going back up. Yeah, it came down. Look, it's, it's come down, but now it's um, that's on a big that's on a it's on a three-day chart, that is. So um, you can see it's starting to go back up. So who knows what's going to happen there? Look, it's um, yeah. went to pretty, a pretty low there, seven thousand satoshis, back up to thousands of satoshis now. So that could be a sign. Who knows? That could continue going up now. Perhaps it's perhaps it's bottomed out. That's the lowest it's been for a long time down there. Look, it's right low, very low. Yeah. So um, it could be loads of people buying. It could be could be buying this now. Just for, and it, it could take off again. Who knows? Um, have you, have you, are you keeping your club coins? Have you still got them? Yeah, I've got I've got six thousand two hundred coins. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I would, um, you know, keep them. You know, it could be a three, four year. All these crypto coins that to me are a three year plan. You know, the, I mean, for the long term. You know. So six thousand coins is um, that's about two two and a half thousand dollars worth. Mm. The thing is, what do you do if you sell your coins? What, where are you going to put the money then? You're going to put it into mining. You're going to buy some other coins. You know, what do you do? I with don't it? think it's. I don't think it's worth it. Like like for this amount to sell it now with this price, I, I'd rather like like you like to keep it and forget about it like for some time and just like come back later on and see. It. Yeah, I think it's worth just forgetting about them. Really, is. Um, because, like I said, the company is strong in a way. I mean, they made hell of money, so uh, I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Yeah, they, you know, they, you, you think of all the companies that come, all these programs that have come and gone the last couple of years, and Big Club Network is still there. So, yeah, sure. So, um, they must be doing something, right? You know, sure. they haven't gone yet, they, they're still around, and um, I know a lot of the top networkers are still promoting it, but, um, but you know, at the end of the day, um, time always tells, isn't it? And um, 
but I, I think Omni have done a great job so far. They got two, they got some real professional videos that have been set up. They've, they've done this event now for London on Sunday. Loads of tickets have sold and um, there's going to be a big turnout. So they're doing all the right things considering it's only, you know, it hasn't even launched probably yet. So. so the event on Sunday, is it the one in the O2 arena? Like uh, that's the one they've been talking about or is it just before the... Because they said it's going to be in the O2 arena, I think. Um, I think it is, but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, it's on my, it's on the event right. It is the address is on there, but I'm not sure if they're giving that the address out until uh, a few days before. Okay, and uh, just like I need to buy some tickets, so I haven't got link for that, Adrian. So I don't know. I mean, I'll, yeah. I'll send you a message on Facebook. Send me a message on that. Facebook. Yeah, I'll send you the event right link. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it's, it's going to be pretty interesting. I, um, I have been up, been up to London for a while, so it's going to be worth going up there just to see what kind of turn up it is, you know, and um, so it'd be interesting to see if for real, you know, rather than watch, watch it on a video. If you don't go, you can just watch it on a video of, of somebody's Facebook Live. Yeah, or something. But I, I think I want, to, I want to go and experience, um, I think it's the, the, the first event, so it'd be interesting to see how it goes. And they say that someone from Genesis is going to be there as well. That's right. Yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah. One of the one of the guys from Genesis will, will be there. I'm not sure if it'll be Marco, Doctor Marco Krohn, the, the guy who done the event out in Iceland, or um, one of the other guys. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Marco Streng is the other one, or the other guy is called Jackoff, isn't it? Jackoff yeah. College, I think. Three yeah. So there's three guys behind it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping one of them will be there at least. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So um, it goes to show that they are they are supporting what Omni are doing. Sure. Yeah. So it was a good interview. Did, did you see that interview on that video with that, with that girl? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Seen it. So that was pretty well put together, and um, they seem to be doing all the right things. You know, but you, you're going to get people that knock the business. You know, saying you know it's it's, it's a pre-launch and. Um, you know, or it's a binary, or it's um, a network. You're going to get people knocking it, or it's, it's paying less on the, it's paying less on the mining. But it's only, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's a small. To me, it's a small amount. It's not much. It's not that much less what they're paying. But yeah. considering, considering you get that back, if you if you're a team builder, it's nothing because you you'll make, you'll make huge money from the compensation plan. I've seen it's amazing. Yeah, you you make you you can probably make millions from the compensation plan if you're a big network, okay. yeah? and um, so yeah. it's irrelevant that small a bit of mining power that you lose. But at the end of the day, every every network has to every on compensation plan has to has to give somewhere because somebody's got to make a profit, isn't it? It's like Swissco Global. It's like anything they charge two hundred forty nine dollars and fifty dollars a month. So yeah. you know, every everyone's got their own way of doing things, haven't they? True. True. So. Swissco Global is a, is a uni-level plan. This is a binary, so they, they put together differently. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, so obviously, Swissco Global, I've got gold and silver as well. So it's, it's a different set. I mean, it's, it's yeah, yeah, that's another thing, true. That's true. It's all about spreading your risk. I, I want to buy, I want to uh, up my game in silver. I want to be acquiring more silver over the next couple of weeks and months. So. I'll be using Swissco Global for Bitcoin mining as well as silver, you know? Are you still like, you know, going for silver? I mean, do you think it's still like you believe that's going to go to 600 like in the next year or something? Well, I'd rather, um, as, as you've seen the video, as you've probably seen the videos, I, I'd rather have, yeah. as a back, I'd rather have, I'd rather have about 50, 100 grand in silver just waiting and just rather have nothing, just in case in it, case it happens. Out. Yeah, in case it happens, true. So if I got 50 grand in silver and it does go up um, just 10 times, that 50 grand is, is 500,000, isn't it? True, yeah. So I'd rather have, I, would, I would rather have something there just for a rainy day, basically. It's, um, there's no point having millions and millions in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and then, you know, $400 or a couple of thousand dollars in silver. I don't think it's, the, the ratio is not, not right. Mm. So... Um, yeah, I think it's worth. I think it's worth putting a, quite a bit into silver. I think it depends how much money you got. Certainly, I've um, put five percent between five and twenty percent of what you earn, you know, away in silver every week, every month. Save saving it, you know, every month. 
Yeah, so yeah, definitely for me, all coins, Bitcoin and silver um, are, are, a, are a big part of my um, portfolio. So I'm just looking through the chat here. Um, if anyone wants tickets for the event on Sunday, yeah, send me a private message and I'll, um, I'll, send a, I'll send it up in the chat. There's a guy called Edmonds asking, I want to confirm the amount of Omnia packages. They, well, there they, there they go. Um, Edward, I just showed you the price in there. It was $100, $500, $1,000, $3,000, $8,500, $15,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,000, $25,
like I said, guys, um, ready a risk at the end of the day. And um, it'd be great if we could just, so I know some people just concentrate on one business. That's great. But um, I've always said up front that I'm a man of um, multiple income streams. So, um, like I said, this is what I've got on the go right now. As you can see, uh, Swiss Gold Global, Bitcoin Mining, Gold and Silver. I've got FutureNet, FutureArt Pro on the go. That's doing really well. I've done, done a $3,000 withdrawal today on FutureNet. USI Tech, that's, that's going like crazy. That's doing brilliantly. Uh, there's the Icoin Pro, a city nine a month. I got the altcoin investing, you know, Dashcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Steam, all those different um, altcoins, which I'm store, which I'm holding on my um, Bittrex account. And now um, number six here, this is actually um, this is uh, Omnia. So I've added that in. For mainly for Ethereum and altcoin mining, lifetime mining packages. You can start with fifty dollars, but um, I recommend hundred dollars minimum. That's why I'm spreading my risk at the moment. Six sort of six program investments um, on the go. So people think I'm crazy doing all these different things, but at the end of the day, um, I'd love to be able just to concentrate on one and just. Build it like build it one like crazy, but at the end of the day, I like to um, spread my risk, you know, because you you never know uh, what's around the corner. And um, if you if you do build one program and something goes wrong, then all your income's gone overnight. You've lost everything overnight. It just dies, you know. So um, it's a good idea. All, all these fit in together, you know. All these programs for me, they all they all work together, and, and they're all cryptocurrency re related, you know. They're all cryptocurrency related. Obviously, except the Swiss gold, but I got the gold and the silver as well. So um, these are all sort of within the cryptocurrency space or, or, or niche. Okay, anyways, anyone got any more questions? And um, I'm going to call it a night. Any more questions? Be great. Well, that's the other thing as well. I forgot to mention, guys. Yeah, Tayan's just messaged me on Facebook. He just purchased a $500 package with Omnia. He's asked the question: Do I start earning straight away? No. Apparently, there is a five-day, there is a five-day um, cooling off period or five-day wait for them to set up the the packages. I think Big Club have got something separate, something similar. I think it's actually 10 days with Big Club, unless they've changed that since. But it's five days, okay? So you have to wait five days, and then you start getting paid. Um, every day after five days. So that's a good point, Tayan. We have to wait that five days after making that purchase. Let me just check, there's no message on Facebook Live. I forgot about Facebook Live. Yeah, I bought, I bought. Ethereum from, from uh, Genesis Mining, and I haven't been paid yet. Well, there you go. So, good question. You know, what? why haven't you been paid? I don't know. When did you buy the package? Uh, I think it's on the 17th or on the 18th. Oh, four days ago? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Um, I would stick a support ticket in for that, and... Um, no, the, the support takes too long, you know, they, they, they have a backlog. Well, I get paid on my Bitcoin, but I don't get, I don't get nothing on the, uh, the uh, ETH yet. You don't get nothing on the what? On the uh, Ethereum, I, I, didn't, I didn't get paid on that yet. Let me know, James, if they backdate that. You said you bought the package on the 18th. Let me know if they backdate you to the 18th or they only start paying you from whenever, tomorrow or next day. I don't know when they're going to start. Uh, I read somewhere on their website that uh, for Ethereum, the minimum payout is, is uh, 
you, you need to have 200 plus. 200 plus before they pay you. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much package did you buy? How much did you spend? I spent, uh, I just tried it out only for five uh, m mh. Oh, $29. Buy, 29 dollars. Hundred plus, uh. Oh, sorry, hundred dollars, okay? Hundred plus, five, uh, five m is a hundred plus. Yeah. Yeah, there may be a minimum payout, so, um, yeah, let me know. Hmm? Let's see how it goes, and then I want to buy more, but I, I'm, I haven't been paid, so I'm holding on to it. Yeah. But perhaps you know you 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 got contracts in Swiss Gold and Genesis now. Perhaps you want to spread your risk in in uh, Omnia as well, you know. Uh yeah, but uh, I'm getting all the same thing, right? So uh, going. Yeah, you're Omnia getting all the same thing, but don't forget Genesis and Swiss Gold are two-year contracts, with Omnia a lifetime contract. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so maybe you know that's that's the main reason why I've taken Omnia on board because they they lifetime contracts. Have you placed me yet, Adrian, on, on Swiss Gold? Today, we are what? living in it. Have you placed me yet? It is um, no, I haven't. That's a good question. I gotta get onto a call with um with Claudia um to go through all my pos my my positionings. So yeah, that's a good question. I'll um I'll get on the case today. I, I got a lot of people to um to position. I, I, they gotta be in the best place, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll let you know on that one. You you will be positioned in the next best place, definitely. Okay. You plan on building a team or being just being passive? I want to try and build a team, but I need I need I need uh, to be positioned first, and then I see where where it's going. And then... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. We are right, oh, Long Boone is asking another good question. You're um, a proud partner of Genesis Mine, the leading hash power provider. He's saying, um, even though each package is a one time lifetime package, can the packages be, be upgraded? In other words, can I purchase a Kickstarter package? No, you can only upgrade to the next best package. So if you start off at a hundred dollar package, say, for example, um, Bernard. Then if you upgrade, you have to upgrade to the 500 package. And then if you click the upgrade button again, it'll take you to the $1,000 package. So you can't keep buying $500 packages right now. You have to upgrade to the next highest one. Or even better again, take up another position and below yourself, uh, open up a right, open up two positions, one right and one on the left below you. And then you can buy another $100 position or a $500 position. That's what I've done. I bought three $500 positions, one at the top, and I've sponsored myself twice, on one on my right and one on my left. So um, that's the best way to do that if you want to get You're not running loud servers in your uh, home. three packages of the same size. In a matter of a few clicks, start diversifying your cryptocurrency portfolio so, while generating revenue through our mind. You will receive daily payouts directly to your e-wallet. This is a great way to get into the cryptocurrency portfolio. financial Okay. More <clears throat> See that big changes are coming. I'm gonna shoot off now, guys. There's a lot of feedback coming through. So, uh, any questions? Yes, Adrian. Yeah. Uh, I have the last question. Uh, this is Yanis. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you about the tenants' pay. You know, the program is uh, is finally closed, but. I heard that you can get a refund for the $50 packages that we get from 1st of May until 1st June. We can request a refund. Do you, have you, do you know anything about that? You want, to try, you want to try and get a refund for the $50 packages? Yeah, in the tenant's pay. Uh, can, we get a, can we get a refund? I heard that we can get a refund. I mean... How much did you? How much? How many packages did you buy? And how did you? How did you buy? How did you? How did you uh, about hundred and fifty dollars. Three, three fifty dollar packages. Credit card or Pacer or, or sorry, for wallet. You're not giving them me. Yeah, Pacer, Pacer. Yeah. 
Visa. Hmm. Uh, on a credit card or just a normal payment? Uh, cre a credit card, yeah. Credit right. card. Um, so, uh, send me a private message on Facebook. Um, I'll see if I can find some information for you on that one. Send me a message on Facebook right okay. away. All right, okay. Okay, I'll send you a message. All right. Um, I may have something just you can ask you about already the same problem. Uh, Adrian, just touching on that, like with regard to uh, get my ads, is it officially now like shown as scam or? Yeah, I think get my ads is gone as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the all these um, get my ads, ten ads pay. I think is it was it my paying crypto ads? Is it my paying my yeah. paying ads? All these type of problems. Uh, all, uh, all the other one, but the, the ads team is it? The ads leader as well is it? All those ones. All of them gone. Yeah. They've all yeah. gone. Yeah. So. Um, it's, um, at the end of the day, it, it says it's all. It says it's all. So um, you know, basically, those is it worth um, going down the road of those type of problems again? You know. You know, I think it was a mistake. In fact, going into something that we don't know who the real owner of. I mean, when I think look back at it, I think for God's sake, I'm never gonna go into something unless I need the owners and know who they are. And... Well, I met the owners of Ten As Pay, the, the two Indian guys, you know, but um, that's yeah. gone. Um, I think Grip shares in general. I mean, they're not going to work unless they are all such sources of income, but that's why I, th I think at the moment, other than future net time, um, future ad pro, I, I don't think any other Grip shares worth looking at. Um, well, yes, yeah, future ad pro is definitely doing, doing its thing. It's, um, it, it continues to go from strength to strength, and especially with the coin, the Futuro coin coming out now at the end of this year. Yeah, my cow, you know. Like that could that new crypto coin could could um, inject a lot of, um, a lot of uh, income into the business as well. And um, yeah, future net is, is and future our pro is just going from strength to strength. I, I'm I'm um, I'm well over thousand uh, dollars withdrawn. Yeah, I'm, I'm like on the royal, like when it comes to the tree, you know, the thing, I'm in the royal position. Does that give us any preferences when it comes to the coin that's going to come? I mean, I don't yeah, know. I had yeah, like yeah, if you've got the royal position already, um, yeah, we get preferential treatment. Yeah, we, we, we're going to get something. Because I think um, the, the, the pitch, the sales pitch more or less, upgrade to royal now before the coin gets, um, before the, the coin gets launched. Mm hmm so um, well, I may even um, I may even buy a load of coins as well because if the coin comes onto an exchange like Bitrex or some, some exchange, I'm going to buy. I'm going to rush to buy a lot of the coins as well, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm going to rush to buy the coins, whatever they launch at, whatever price they launch at. I'm just trying to think how they're going to put them in the, like, you know, in the payment system or in the compensation <clears throat> plan. And is it going to be separate from, like, you know, the, like, the rev share itself? Is it going to be separate? Yeah, like, yeah, know? yeah. It would be definitely, I, I say it definitely would be separate to the, um, to the, to the future Ad pro. Yeah, it'd be a separate, um, I, I think it's going to be a separate uh, setup, a set, possibly a separate affiliate program. You know, will it be, a multi, will it be one single level or multi level? Um, There'd be, I think there's going to be some incentive to um, tell people to, to tell people about the coin. You know, there, there must be an incentive for other people to tell people about the coin. Because um, so, so far they proved themselves like to be good. I don't know. I, I, they know what they're doing at least. I mean, compared to other like people that we met in the rev share industry in general. But those, I mean, I feel like more comfortable working with them if there's something new learned. Because yeah. they survived, even though it's a rev share, they survived, so they know what they're doing, I mean, at least. Well, every rev share, I call it uh, like a traffic exchange or, yeah, rev share or, or um, traffic program, because I use Future Art Pro just for those adverts, you know, so people see my adverts. Um, obviously, they, are, they, 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 they must be generating income from, well, they are, they, they, they generate a load of income from the, from the other sources, isn't they? either from the... You know the uh, all the other products and services they do. You know, yeah. So um, the, they definitely the, the matrix is a, is a big thing, isn't it? They're making a lot of money from that matrix, isn't it? People buying the, the products and services through the matrix, ten dollars, twenty five dollars, you know, up up to one six eight five. 
And it's not bad for us as well. I mean, we're also making money from it, so it's not like they are only making it. We're also making money, good money from it, so... Yeah, we get our percentages there, but, um, you know, like 5% or we get up to 50% on the, and we get the matching bonuses, don't we, and the leadership bonuses. Yeah. But they are left, the company is left with a lot of money. You know, they're probably earning probably just as much as, 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 as we are, as, if not more, because and they are holding that money then to help us to pay out the, the revenue share as well. It's, it's supporting the revenue share, you know, keeping that going. Which is clever. Yeah, it's, it's, it's working, and um, and they got they got the downloads, and they they are all the, the blogging platform, and they got um, all the other products and services they do, and the social media products and services they do, games so, and the games, yeah, and they, they do they do video productions, they got all little things on the go. I think they sponsor they sponsor people as well. They they, they, they name seems to be out there sponsoring football games and all kinds of sport, sporting events. Mm. So uh, they they doing something right. So uh, it seems you know. They got the weekly webinars. Um, they do the weekly webinars on you know every I think it's every Wednesday or Thursday, seven o'clock. That's that's always uh, every week on the dot. So that keep that shows them that they're still around and they help they're helping people to build. So yeah, it's um and, and so you know like I said I can't complain. I, I got in early and um I back in March two thousand sixteen. And uh, yeah, I built a team. I got people in and um. Like I said, I can't, I can't be thankful enough. I'm, I'm over, well over 200,000 withdrawn. Well over. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all going well. So, yeah. But like I said, I, I like to spread my risk. I'm involved in a few other things as well. And um, I, like to keep, I like to keep about four, three, four, sort of five on the go, just in case one or two disappear, you know? Yeah. Because anything goes wrong, the worst scenario. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot off anyway. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, Mustam is great. Okay. Anyone's got any more questions? Let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna uh, call it a night. Thanks, no, no. Okay, okay, thanks, thanks, Adrian. All right, thanks, yeah. So you, Sam? Yeah, I'm just saying thanks very much as well, thanks. Yeah, no worries, yeah, it's, um, I just try and do these calls just to uh, show people I'm still around, you know, I'm still active and um, I'm still about, you know, that's the reason I do these calls really. And um, like, like, for, like for example, I'm off to London on Monday now, so I'll, I'll, if anyone's around the London area, it'd be, it'd be nice to catch up and um, so that's the reason I do these calls, that let people know what I'm still about. What are you doing with your dust coin? Oh, right. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I've got my dust coins in there. I bought them. I, I bought a $5,000 package. Um, yeah, but what are you doing I'm, with I'm it? Not, I'm not promoting it as building a team. Um, I'm just waiting to see some action now, really, from the coin itself, when the coin becomes live, you know? Yeah. I did well, exactly you know, what you did uh, on dust coin. I bought I bought uh, two other packages under my 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 manager's uh, license. Uh, then I start building the left and the right leg on my my own, you know, and then see where it goes from there. Yeah, that's all well and good. Yes, um, I mean all the groups. I, I try and keep 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 on top of the updates, but. Um, now, as long as a piece of string. Now we know we need to see a real coin on a real exchange to a certain degree. Because we yeah. don't want we don't want any like one coin like. Because uh, yeah. till now I don't know what's stopping them from going to the exchange. I mean, it's been ages. I mean, can't they just? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for one coin as well. <laughs> hmm? oh, one coin is a disaster. I mean, it's a scam. Uh, one coin. Well, yeah. There you go. It's, By the um, way, Adrian, the, video you, uh, the earlier the earlier video you showed about the Genesis mining and the lady who were talking to that uh, uh, one of the Genesis mining representatives, they are they are the mainly the people uh, who actually promoted one coin and I joined them and uh, now actually they are trying to promote Omnia. So it's a bit of you know. Yeah, you're right. I, I gotta be honest here. I really think the people. I don't like knocking people, but. The, the people in one coin back in the days, you know, you, one coin has been around for two years. No props are, are even longer. They, most of the people were were uneducated. You know, we were all, 
we were all uneducated a few years ago, one, two years ago, three years ago. Most people don't have a clue what they were getting involved with when it came to cryptocurrency, you know. Yeah, that's right. But now a lot of people in, in one coin have woken up and they've they've taken the education and they probably realizing that they, they made a mistake. Some people still believe in it in one coin, but if some people have moved on. Like the guys now, as you just said, a lot of guys in in one coin have moved into Omnia, so they yeah. probably realizing now that Omnia is the real deal with real coins, real mining. They've been out to the mining farm. They've seen it all for themselves. They didn't get that opportunity with one coin, so. Um, yeah, I, I can. I can, if I can, if a lot of the one coin people move over to Omnia, then there's going to be a massive, um, massive army of people sort of building it, isn't it? It's going to, be, it's going to turn into something massive. True. The only yeah, thing is, think... like some people are selfish in a way that they know that one coin is in trouble. They know it's a scam, but still they're promoting because they want to give their money back, and that's really bad because you know. Yeah, people, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. People suffer because of that. I'm, this is why I steered away from Dascoin because I thought unless they go into the market and it's likely there's no point of jumping in and promote it to people and then something happens again like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, you've got to have um, a supply and demand. You've got to have, you've got, you've got to have something real on, a, on a, an exchange, haven't you? You've got to have something there. So, you know, one coin, they, they, why, they, they could have, they, there was no reason to hold a, hold the coin off the exchange. They, they could have, they may have been better off putting a coin, creating a real coin, putting it on the exchange. There was enough people promoting it. True. So they may, they may have been, you know, it's not hard to uh, get a coin uh, on, on coinmarketcap.com and create a coin, all, all the money. It took BitClub like two weeks to register the coin. Can you believe it? I mean, two weeks. I mean, so yeah. there's nothing holding it unless there's some bad intentions. And that's the thing I'm telling you. I mean, God knows what goes. I mean, you read all the time about those mafia things behind them and things. So, so God knows. I mean. Yeah, but um, I don't know what it is, but some people just generally believe that one coin is, is on a comeback and it's, it's, it's going to go into an exchange next year. And, um, you know, all I'm hearing is it's been shut down in all on all different types in all countries. The, the, the okay. government's shutting them down. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Uh. So, um, yeah, but but like I said, yeah, but I'm not saying it's um, a, a good thing or a bad thing. If people are coming from one coin coming into Omnia, well, that's the way it goes. They realise they've um, they were tucked up. They they realise they've been I don't know conned or scammed, and now they're um, they're moving into Omni because they see it as a real, a real opportunity this, this time round. So, which it is, isn't it? Omni, it is a real opportunity. Like you know, it's a real, it's an, it's a network marketing program. Yes, added on the back end of, of real products and services from Genesis. So, um, and they're registered in uh, Malta, I guess. Um, that's a good point. I, I don't even know where, where they registered. I can find out. Um, I know it's going to be somewhere um, offshore or somewhere where it's not going to cause any bother. You know, every um, I think every MLM has to um, do that, do not they, to protect themselves? Don't they? You can't go register in the United States. That's for sure. You got to register somewhere like Dubai or or Malta or that's where most people are. Um, Marshall Islands, like future. <laughs> but, the, but the owners are German, German based. The three guys, the three guys behind it are German uh, Germans. So yeah, they were. Um, and it's, it's, it's like Genesis the Germans as well. They, G Genesis is a German company as well. So it works quite well, really. I don't know, Adrian. I mean, for me, I found it, I mean, through my like years of experience in this, like the internet marketing, I found it that it's good. It's better like to work with German like companies. And then somehow I found it more straightforward. I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Well, working with... A German, like, you know, in general. Like, for example, look USI, look at like Genesis, look at... But we, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier to deal with them and more straightforward. More, I don't know. I mean, they could be more blunt, but still, it's better. They are more straightforward into things, and whenever there's problems, they don't just like you know disappear. I mean, they're always there. And yeah, well, um, Stefan isn't he, from the the CEO of Morgan, of, um, of FutureNet, he, he's German, isn't he? He's German. Yeah, that's that's one of the main things. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they seem to be they seem to be doing all the right things right now. So. Um, yeah, just time will tell now, hopefully, yeah. But um, 
we're all in this to make money and um cryptocurrency is i you know as you know is definitely the future and uh, my, my plan is just to acquire acquire as much as i can and we really be bitcoin you know ethereum bitcoin and ethereum are like the one number one and number two to me I, i'm trying to acquire as much of those as i can and uh, that's what i'm going to use um i'm going to use omnia mainly for the ethereum and um, the altcoin side of things and build my portfolio build my altcoin portfolio with omnia you know and um I'm going to keep um, the likes of um, Swiss gold there mainly for Bitcoin mining and um, and gold and silver. So it, it works. It all works quite well for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I'm going to shoot off. Anyway, guys, um, if I've missed any messages, please send them to me on Facebook Messenger and um, I'll, I'll definitely get back to you. Facebook Messenger is quicker than um, WhatsApp or Skype. That's the quickest. By the way, Adrian, uh, just a suggestion from my side: if you are buying those hardware wallets, at least buy two of them. So, in case you destroy one or lose one, you immediately have an access to another uh, device, and you load your wallet and transfer your money, you know, from there to somewhere else. Oh, you mean buy two treasures? You mean? Yeah, yeah. Keep one as a backup for some emergency cases, and then keep one, uh, you know, as a full loaded with some money, you know, in it. And in case you lose the one which is loaded with your cryptos, uh, you immediately load your wallet with using the 32 words on your, um, you know, second trezor and transfer your money just in case, you know. Yeah, but you have to, you, you, you use your private keys for that. Then if you lose one, if, one if, if this breaks down or you lose one, you... you... Yeah, just, just, just for peace of mind, you know. <laughs> yeah. Instead of waiting, waiting for some weeks to, you know, ship from Czech Republic or France, you immediately load your 32 words into your next uh, backup, uh, you know, device, yeah, yeah, and use your use your money, you know. Oh yeah, for what it costs, yeah, eighty nine dollars now, isn't it? It's um, yeah, eighty nine dollars. Yeah. Yes, it's a good point. Yeah, um, but if I'm gonna do that, I, I I'm gonna have to buy two two ledgers as well, and I because uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be spreading my um, coins over the you know the three of them, you know, ledger, trezor, perhaps uh, Exodus. So I, I bought basically one Ledger Blue and one Ledger Nano S. So just two different devices. Just keep use one of them regular and keep one as a backup. Oh, you bought you bought the two the two Ledgers, did you? The, two, the different ones, did you? Yeah, two different one Ledger Nano S and one Ledger Blue. Yeah, what was the difference? They both are same. They both are same, but just you know, just in case you. What was the difference in price? Same price, different price? No, no, no. Ledger Blue is quite expensive. It's two twenty euro. And yeah, uh, the yeah. Ledger Nano S is about 60 or 90 euros. Yeah. 70 euros. So what are you getting for the for the Ledger Blue one? What, what, what are you getting extra then for the extra money? I think the Ledger Blue, there's a bit of more space in it. Uh, you can load more applications at the same point in time. And uh, oh, it has a... Can you put Ethereum on there? Ethereum uh, Classic on there and things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. They both, they both function the same. They both function are the same, same thing. There's nothing major difference in uh, that. There's a there's a more space in the Ledger Blue, and it's a touch device like mobile, so a bit of more you know um, visual kind of you know appealing as compared to Ledger Nano S. Right. How many coins can you put on the Ledger Nano? Can you put Ethereum Classic on there as well as Ethereum? Oh yes, yes. yes. You can put all of them as long as uh, the Ledger is Ledger application is available to download from the Ledger framework. You know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you can do all of them. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to shoot off. I'll catch you all in the next one, right? Thanks for attending, everyone, okay? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Take care. Right. Enjoy. Yeah, good night, everyone. I'll see you on, uh, be back on Thursday, probably 4 o'clock Thursday and 9 o'clock on Thursday. 4 o'clock, yeah. 9 o'clock. Was a, yeah. You didn't, you didn't right. do a four o'clock one today, right? No, I missed it. Yeah, I was on property. I, I had a sell. I had some viewings on one of my properties I'm selling. So um, I get caught up in that sometimes. It's a bit awkward. So yeah, I can't always be. Yeah, sometimes I get called out. So yeah, some, nine o'clock is always more or less definite. Four o'clock is a bit up in the air at the moment while I'm selling these, while I'm doing viewings and selling these properties. Yeah. Okay, guys, yeah. all the best. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everyone. All right. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.